Evening YouTube, it's AC Dodd here again, and uh, I just thought I'd um, do a little bit of a different video, uh, and that is basically something on these things, which is called a mag light. Now, a lot of people of my generation will know what these are, which is basically a very well-made torch. Um, as a machinist, uh, its construction being, um, you know, machined out of basically aluminium um, tubing, and solid aluminium means that. Uh, I can really appreciate the engineering that's gone into one of these. Obviously, American-made, high-quality torch. Um, I had my first mag light ooh, 30 years ago um, when I was still a teenager. Um, and, you know, I, I, I basically, I, I liked them from day one and I, I still like them now. So, uh, But the problem with the old mag lights is they come with a bulb. And... Uh, incandescent bulbs are not known for being the brightest thing in the world so it's a shame to throw away a torch and replace it with a, a more modern item when there's absolutely nothing wrong with the old torch high quality items old school bulb so with my particular uh torches and i've got a, a number of them which you can see um I upgrade and fit LED bulbs. So what I wanted to do here is to basically show you that if you've got a, if you've got an old mag light or maybe you've got a couple of old mag lights and they're stuck in the back of the cupboard or the batteries have um, you know leaked inside and uh, you know you're thinking oh, I'm just going to replace it, uh, don't replace it. Simply upgrade it. So what I'm going to do here in this video is uh, or this um, in these videos is basically uh, show the you know what's on the market and what I've done with my mag light torches and then show you the uh, obviously the the upgraded output so I will we'll, we'll have some footage so you can see that in my back garden so you, you can see how bright they are uh, or the different beam shapes uh, whether they're uh, uh, a thrower um, or they're a floodlight and um, you know to help you make ch your choices to, as to what you want these are expensive torches you know, so I think a modern one is about ooh, in the UK seventy to to eighty pounds for a, a two cell. This this particular one I'm holding up is a three cell or a three D torch. Mm -hmm. uh, here's another example. This is a two uh, a two cell torch. Obviously, uh, slightly slightly shorter. Only has two D cells in it as opposed to the three. Um, so yeah, the modern version of these torches, uh, you know can cost quite a bit of money. Now, I am referring, of course, to the ML300L, which is uh, a modern high power uh, LED torch uh, produced by Magnite, which is, I have one, and I'll, and I'll show it later on the on the video. Uh, but yeah, excellent torch. So um, enough about that. What can we do to the old ones? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you the output of this, the old incandescent. And I'm going to show you the output from a basic LED mag light, which is produced by the factory. And then I'll go through my upgrades. This is another three cell uh, torch, which I've fitted an upgrade to. And I've got another one, which I've fitted a different upgrade to. And we'll basically go through all the torches and I can show you all the differences in the outputs. Uh, and uh, just, you know, to put you out of your misery, we're going to go from uh, typically um, sort of four and a half watts uh, right up to um, a 50 watt or a 5,000 lumen conversion from mag lights. So uh, if you stick around, you'll get to see some seriously powerful mag lights. Um, and now a couple of other things uh, about mag lights is uh, they all typically use... Uh, the D cell battery. Now, uh, all the mag lights I have, uh, which I'm going to use on the videos, are all powered by D cells apart from one, which has had the lithium ion upgrade, uh, which is basically an excellent upgrade for a torch. Um, but I also like uh, sometimes the weight of the D cells, and uh, I'm already kitted up for D cells, and they work perfectly for me in the applications I need them for. Uh, the other thing about my mag lights is they are actually used. So when I go out and do my on the road tuning, there's generally, um, in, in fact, I normally take the lithium ion mag light with me um, because it's got such a uh, an interesting um, output. 
it's a floodlight rather than the typical um, mag light, which is which is not a floodlight. It's it's a mixture. It's, it's got a thrown beam and it's also got spill around the outside. Um, I personally don't like that uh, type of output. I with my eyes, I find that a bit bright the spot. So I like a diffused flood. So um, everybody's different with what they need and the way you and when you use the torch and where you use the torch can mean uh, you need a different um, type of uh, beam pattern. So my personal beam pattern I prefer is the flood uh, output. Anyway, that's enough of me talking. Uh, let's go and do some um, beam shots and then uh, we can uh, start to talk about the particular upgrades in each torch. Okay, let's get down to some testing. So this is my back garden. And uh, first up is the 3D cell mag light um, and this is with the incandescent bulb and I'll focus it down on the top and you can see it's got a good throw and it lights up but I'll open that up so we can you can see that opening and focus right down then open wide so yes you can see with it but actually my eyes are perceiving that as less light than the camera's picking up In terms of what was powering that torch um, uh, out in the in the garden there, uh, it's got a mixed bag of cells in this one, purely because um, I'm going to be upgrading the torch, so I'm not particularly worried about the fact it's got mixed cells in it, uh, but that is generally regarded as bad practice. Um, they're in good condition, um, so I'm, I'm regarding that as a, a fairly uh, reasonable um, example of the type. Okay, so this is the 2D cell um, factory mag light that's LED. So it's a uh, DL2 uh, serial number. Now I think this one is 168 lumens. But as you'll see, this one performs very well for its 168 lumens. So I'm really happy with this particular light. And this is a factory standard light. So if we go wide, offers a good arrangement, a, a good coverage of light. You still get the big hole on these older mag lights. So, but for factory standard light, that works very well. One thing you will notice on the left-hand side of the image right now is the, uh, the cone. So what I've noticed on these particular lights is that uh, the spread on this 168 lumen light is actually narrowed down. And I think they do that to improve the uh, um, brightness so when we get to the next mag light up which is the one, uh, the one I have with the first upgrade we will be able to see the difference okay this was the torch um, just using that test this is a, a DL2 torch uh, original LED mag light and it's powered by two alkaline D cells So this next mag light is a 3D cell mag light with the four and a half watt drop in uh, from the torch site. And this is the multi-mode version. So there's three power settings, but we'll go full power first. And I'll vary the lens. So you can see it's got a very wide dot and it's got a very, very wide coverage. Okay, so this is probably 20% bigger than the factory mag light and it's obviously got a little bit more legs on it so there's a bit more punch and a bit more a uh, bit more overspill so um, in terms of uh, output this retains all the features of your mag light so it's all it has a variable focus and obviously it gives you full power medium power which is 25% and then low power, which is 5%. Okay, so that was the torch that was in this test. Uh, it's just a, a basic uh, incandescent uh, 3D cell torch that's been uh, fitted with the uh, LED upgrade. This is the four and a half watt uh, multi-mode upgrade available from the torch site. Um, so far it's been excellent so yeah very happy with the performance of that 
uh, as you've seen from the uh, shots in my garden, it uh, produces a good spread of light. And obviously with the multi-modes, um, gives you the option of uh, uh, turning down the power. Um, you know, if it's if it's uh, if you need to dim that light uh, for any particular applications. Um, I also use uh, in this one. Um, I use the nickel metal hydrides. Then these are uh, Amazon Basics. Uh, so far, they're proven to be excellent, but uh, I've only just started using these in the last month or so. So we'll see what they're like uh, over a course of a year or two um, to really get the understanding of. Uh, uh, whether these are good batteries or not but so far excellent results and they uh, give the capacity 10,000 milliamp hours this is what I'm finding when I charge them so yeah uh, I love this torch so far at the same time of fitting the uh, LED upgrade I fitted a uh, replacement uh, glass lens to replace the plastic one that was in there that was all scratched this particular glass is available from torchupgrades.com uh, and it features a scratch resistant surface this is the latest ml300l and it's the latest 2d cell torch uh, from maglite uh, and this is an absolutely cracking torch for a 2d cell uh, it's got lots of power 528 lumens uh, from only two batteries and it's actually a little bit smaller than the traditional 2d cell so uh, it's it's the smallest um, 2d cell torch you can get from maglite um, and if you are in the market for buying a torch and you want the quality um, then i thoroughly recommend looking at one of these because uh, it's an excellent light it's got all the usual features so you can focus the beam and uh, it's got uh, various uh, modes so uh, including three power modes and there's also uh, some selection modes so you can uh, change the order in which uh, things happen when you press the uh, selector switch um, but uh, yeah excellent light okay the torch I want to do now is uh, Maglite's latest offering which is the ML300L uh, this is the 2D version so it's got the 528 lumen bulb as you can see, this 2D mag light has got a very wide range and there's no hole produced in the middle. So they've worked on the, uh, the beam on this one. It's quite narrow uh, and I think that's how they uh, maximise the brightness. But it's got really good spill and it's got really good runtime. So if you didn't want a modified mag light and you just wanted to buy one off the shelf, then I would fully recommend buying the ML300L. Uh, it's an excellent flashlight. It's also got modes. modes. Um, there's medium. And there's low. So even on low, that's still got a fair amount of punch. Now if we just compare that to the 4.5 that we've just used in the previous test, so there's the 4.5. This has got much brighter spill, much bigger spill. And there's the mag light. Okay, so smaller spill area, but very powerful considering that the 4.5, this one, it uses three cells with a much wider cover area, as you can see. And that's a narrower cover area. You can see by the arc on the left hand side, but still plenty bright enough and again that's the torch sight 4.5 watt drop in and the ml300l mag light 2, 2d cell i choose to power my ml300 with uh, ansman um, nickel metal hydride maxis so yeah, they're proving to be excellent batteries so far. I've had these a good couple of years now. So uh, very happy with the performance on these. A um, little bit less capacity than the um, uh, the Amazon Basics ones, but uh, these are, are nearly twice the price. So um, hopefully they will perform very well. Okay, so that's it for this uh, part one. Uh, join me on the next episode when we'll be looking at uh, a couple of Firefly uh, upgrades, drop-ins from the torch site, uh, a 5 watt and an 8.5 watt, 
uh, and then we'll also uh, look at a much bigger one which is uh, a 50 watt or a, a 5000 lumen uh, adventure sport flashlight drop-in anyway as ever please like subscribe and share and i'll see you soon